Oh, he's got the multimeter out. That can only mean one thing. Baba's got something nice from China. Check it out. Whoa. This is a 10 amp step down buck converter module, which I have purchased from AliExpress for a grand total of £2.89. Uh, with 20p shipping to the United Kingdom, it comes to three pounds and eight pence in total. Oh. So what does it do? It takes an input voltage over there, and it gives out an output voltage over there, which is lower than the input voltage. Amazing, right? I think so. Uh, so let's look at the circuit quick. Now bear in mind that my knowledge of electronics is pretty shit. So we have some big ass capacitors over here which I'm hoping do some kind of voltage smoothing for any spikes we might get. Uh, that is a big ass inductor coil. We have some voltage regulators I think over there on either side which are connected to these chunky ass heat sinks uh, there's some other stuff on the circuits possibly diodes uh, that's a potentiometer uh, we should try turning this thing so according to the spec sheet for this thing if we look at it now, it says it is a 10 amp non-isolated buck module. It has an input voltage of 7 to 32 volts, an output voltage of 1.25 to 28 volts, a maximum output current of 10 amps. Uh, however, you can use 8 amps for extended periods of time. An output power of 100 watts. That's that's a lot, right? That is that is serious wattage. It says it can even handle 150 watts if you strengthen the heatsink. So, um, imagining some kind of fanning or cooling system, or maybe even just bigger heatsinks, right? Working temperatures 40 to 85 degrees centigrade. 40 to 85. Oh, okay. Uh, a working frequency of 300 kilohertz. A maximum transfer efficiency of 95%, which of course uh, depends on the input-output voltages and the current and whatnot. Uh, it does have short circuit protection. It limits the current to 14 amps, but it says here Please no short circuit if possible, so we won't be shorting it today. Uh, temperature protection, it says yes, the output will be automatically cut off once the over temperature occurs, so that's anything above 85 degrees centigrade. Uh, input reverse connection protection, no. So it says please add diodes in series if you need it. That's a bit of a bizarre why wouldn't you just stick in a couple of diodes to prevent I don't know I don't know why they didn't do that but uh so just make sure when you plug this thing that you got the positive and the negative connected correctly otherwise things go pop right so uh shall we power this thing up I think so Right, so the first thing to do would be to give it a power source. So for that I have uh, one of these crappy brick power supply things, uh, which I don't know if you can see, but it outputs uh, 6 volts. So if we plug that in. Oh, damn! The LED switched on. Oh, 
have it. LED, LED power. Okay, so the thing is switched on, and as you can see by the multimeter which I've connected, it is outputting a voltage of 3.3 volts currently. So let's uh, let's turn the little blue thingy and see what we get, right? So if I turn it clockwise, the output voltage should drop, which I don't know if you can see the multimeter, but it is dropping steadily. Oh. And the potentiometer is clicking now, so that means the lowest voltage it's outputting is 1.24 volts, which is not bad, so that's according to the data sheet. We turn this the other way now. Oh yeah. Juice it. Give it the juice. Mmm, that's sweet. Sweet juice. And what the input is six volts, so how is it outputting a voltage of eight point six four volts that's a bit bizarre it's somehow boosting the voltage as well hmm <laughs> very sneaky you people from China who sent me this it's good to know that it's not only a step down converter but it seems it can boost it slightly it's probably not a good idea to leave it on a boosted state right uh, Another sneaky, sneaky thing is that the input voltage is 6 volts. Uh, according to the data sheet, the minimum input voltage is 7 volts. So how... what? How is that even possible? <clears throat> right, so as you can see, the thing does a very good job uh, of stepping down a voltage. The idea is to use this with uh, these bad boys over here. So this is a LED ambient lighting thing that I've made. Uh, it's pretty damn sweet. Uh, maybe I shall include a video on, on how to do that at a later stage, but uh, there's many tutorials out there, all kinds of tutorials in all kinds of places on how to on how to build this. Um, of course, it's powered by the Arduino and the strip. It needs five volts to power this thing up, and uh, according to my calculations, it draws a maximum of seven amps when all of the LEDs are on max brightness. Of so, all three of the tricolor LEDs are on. At full brightness, that draws a total of 8 amps, 7 or 8 amps. Uh, so currently I am using a scavenged computer power supply because the power supply that I had for this, it was a 10 amp 5 volt power supply. That thing blew up. Uh, yeah, I don't know what happened, but uh, it... Reported for duty for a good three or four years. It was also ordered on AliExpress. Uh, and then one day when my wife was vacuuming, uh, the thing just blew up. So I don't know what happened, but you know how these things go. They go pop. But anyways, I want to turn that power supply into a variable voltage constant voltage, co constant current power supply uh, and in order to replace it for the LED lighting we could use something like a, one of these laptop bricks that we have lying around so I have plenty of these scavenged from old computers and, uh, and printers and things uh, the output voltage of these things, however, is... Uh, why 
Why is the writing so goddamn small? I can't read it. I can't read a fucking thing. Anyway, so the idea is to take one of those. I think they're around 24 volts, and then drop it down to the 5 volts that the ambient lighting would need. Uh, and the idea is to use this this bad boy over here. I mean, for three pounds, how awesome is this? Delivered to your door from China for a measly three quid. Of course, you can use this probably for doing other interesting things, um, such as maybe powering a high power laser. Mm. Oh, there's an idea. Perhaps I shall do this. Uh, but um, perhaps you want a constant current source for that so um, getting another module like this, this but a butt boost converter and it has uh, all kinds of voltage adjustments and current adjustments so maybe I'll use that instead but for now uh, let's put this guy to work and see what happens when we connect the big ass load yeah 10 amp buck converter from AliExpress Nice.